everyone! Welcome to Toy Break, episode 186. Hmm. A milestone. It is a milestone. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Ro. And it's been exactly how long? 50 episodes. I thought it had not been that many. It has. Which is weird, and you need to come back to the couch more. I would love to. I, the love, problem I is love this couch. He's actually on the couch a lot, we just can't see him because they're both brown. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's a camouflage thing. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just end up sleeping here, they don't even realize it. <laughs> But it's, it's a pretty good thing that you got going on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in case you don't know, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring reviews and news all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to... Racism. Designer vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> plush action figures, collectibles, interviews, reviews, uh, events, how-tos, all sorts of craziness that we can bring you in the world of toys. Let us begin as we usually do, do by thanking our sponsors, like 3D Retro. Paysaver. Grumpy Bert. Yes. Grumpy Bert. <laughs> Art Attack Toys. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. Mini Cassette Tees. Time Bandits. Monster Workshop. And Happy Panda Toys. And ButtonLab.com. And Button-Lab.com. Yeah. So thank you so much to all of our sponsors. And we also have a contest. We do. We it's always have a contest, don't we? That custom mummy boy right there on the table. Ta-da! This is, uh, you can win this unique nice. mummy boy figure customized by Super Deluxe. Seven. It's a Super 7 figure, but customized. Gotcha. By Deluxe. Very All nice. you have to do is visit his site, deluxeart.blogspot.com and deluxe.bigcartel.com and post a short poem about any of his contests in the forum in the contest section. Deadline nice. is October 19th. Do it. Make There's actually happen. been a bunch or of poems beats. already. That's because writing poems is fun. Apparently. Try I, haikus. Haikus are way easier to write than regular poems. That's why I said. There's been a couple haikus. There's been some limericks. There's been, it's been some fun Don't times. Don't look at me. Look at well, What's going on? <laughs> These things are happening all around me. Um, all right. Well, there you go. Shall we get right into it? Let's do it. Let's get Let's right rock. into it. Because we have some big, we have a thing, and I don't know how, what this is going to entail. That's true. Um... We're reviewing things. Uh, Wait a minute. Other people may not know Ro. Yeah. Oh. Some people may have started watching between the 50 episodes ago that you were on. That's true. And now, who are who you? Who are you? Uh, uh, my who name? are you? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ro Coley. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mr. It's a pleasure. How are okay. you? It's a pleasure. Thank you for, for letting me on your couch oh, once stop. again. <laughs> Uh, and my company's called War Machine Marketing, and we do promotional items and marketing giveaways and fun stuff like that. And I like toys. I've heard that about you. A lot. And you're at all the shows, and you do some toy finagling here I and there. I do and... finagle with toys. I'm trying to start my own toy line, so that's cool. That's very cool. Yes. Maybe keep an eye on... Do you have a site going for that or anything? I don't. Or... Not yet. Uh, okay. Actually, just when you start... threw the name out. So. Okay, when you start getting that going, you should come back yes. and promote that. I absolutely will, because then we can have it on the screen. Like, www thatguystoystuff.com Oh, I hope somebody has that right now. Someone's going to get it if they that don't. That would be pretty awesome. I should go home and do something with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll come out next year and it'll be a big San Diego exclusive and, nice. you know, heads will turn and arms will be raised. Heads will roll. Yes. It's a good song. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now, yeah. now let's get into reviews because yes. we have a big, big thing. Okay. Reviews. Reviews. So. Course. See that? It says it right up there. Are you familiar with Course Toys? You know what? I can't say that I am. Um, they or did not the, the, the Pain. Doll. He had another name for the regular edition. It's like a skateboarder. Okay. Uh, he's like holding a skateboard. It's a very like monotone piece. Uh, we actually have one in the, the back room of the warehouse over there. To show you. What else? Oh, they did. He, course did the paws. It's, it's like a, a bunny, like giant muscular rabbit, like standing oh, up on one hand. Yeah, it's um, oh. he's got like stiff lip type thing going on, with him, right? <laughs> like some kind of. These are fun. Okay, so we don't know what's in this box. Oh, so this is total surprise. Total surprise. Surprise by course. So, which is why I have my information device in case I need to look up information. It comes like this. Pretty cool packaging, actually. I can both in hand it. So I can look it up. It's an oop. You're an oop. <laughs> Let blossoms bloom again. Warning, this is not a toy. Hmm. It's an adult collectible. 
Sounds better than adult oh, toys. There it is. Okay. New course toy. Wow. I have to admit, their packaging is pretty impressive. Wow, look at that. It's all like... That is nice molded Placed foam. in foam wow. and like... That's... <gasps> look at that. Pretty heavy duty. This thing is creepy weird. Wow. Whoa. Awesome. <laughs> it's a thing. Does it go together? Nope. It's just two independent pieces? It's two little things. One naked dude with a giant head and like a baby bunny. Also with a giant head. You know what? It looks like the baby versions of like the pain guy and the bunny like the, that we just talked about. Oh. I don't, I don't know anything about this, but these things are awesome looking. Look at this thing. So oh, happy. What's, <laughs> what's going on? Oh. Look Ooh. at his little butt. What's up with the back of his head? A little flat spot so he could sit. Uh, no, 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 but there's like a design on it. There's like flowers. There's like, or... it's like dollar oh. sign. Oh, of course. It has all Oh, oh is that what it's yeah, called? I think that's, so. That's I think it's all the letters. Sign. Okay. Hey, what's this family and friends code card? Ooh. Become a member of the course family and friends and you will receive special benefits. This thing is that's crazy thing. and creepy. Hmm. Where, where, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but like, where are they based? I believe Hong Kong. Ah. That explains uh, all the... the seven inch I think these I think things are like French or something, aren't they? I think they're French or well, something like that. It's HKG, course HKG. I don't know. But I could be completely wrong. Oh, I look, this thing's articulated. Oh, that's China. kind of funky. Let's see what this is all about. I yeah, this think is really creepy. I could be wrong about that, but this may be limited to 200 pieces and be like 160 bucks. And the, the the website is I just saw it course I think it's just coursetoys.com. Where did I just see that? Oh. Yeah, coursetoys.com. Yeah, this thing's kind of crazy. It's crazy and creepy all at the same time. But which one is it more? Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I think it all depends on how you actually set it up because if you actually just had him kind of mounted up on the wall like this, like that would be <laughs> really just a disturbing thing. Kind of disturbing, but at the same time, like always a conversation piece i like the style of their pieces because they're so simple they are All and the it's angle, hard it's very to, angular to break it down to its essentials like that you know just lines and yeah and then the weird like coarse like this is this little butt he's got a little butt is happening and that i'm maybe rabbity i don't know can you actually stand him up on his on his ears maybe or kind of thing like what happens if you like do them upside down or something just kidding. no maybe he no. just rocks i think yeah he just kind of like yeah he yeah, rocks like, he rocks like yeah i just did that <laughs> i don't know crazy weird that is a bizarre bizarre piece i've seen bizarre pieces before but i think that might be one of the well it's also weird because like how do the two pieces like, like go together right like kind of what's what's the tying how what's do those what is the tie that binds what is the tie that binds? He is articulated. He has three points, both arms. Okay, now answer this question if you could for me. Riddle me this, Riddle me this. <laughs> Toy break? Um, in a situation like this, why even add articulation? Does it really do anything? Like, I don't know. I... It may not do anything. It may have been... I mean, it's a point. It's a mold point, so it's yeah, going to be separate anyway. Mold. So, because it's going to be separate anyway, why not articulate it while, while you're in there? I guess so. It just, it almost seems like an extra step for when something could just be solid. You know, like, I mean, I you're not really going to have action pose, little right. baby, right. big head Well, kid. that piece could also be used for something else down the line. Maybe they have a tiny head version. Uh, I don't no, know. That's a good point. Okay, fair enough. Forward thinking, I'm down. Body or they couldn't though. get that cavity. Yeah, in I mean, between the arms, you mm. couldn't get that if you were molding that as a single piece. Oh, uh, that could be it. Too. They could have had, like, yeah, I don't know. This thing is crazy. I like this piece. I kind of like that, too, actually. I think that like would make, its own like, a art piece. really cool Tell me, in a weird way. It doesn't remind you a little bit, like, just sitting there. If you just walked into somebody's house and saw this, like, sitting there on their thing. I know it's not a penis, but, like, that, like, weird art object thing from, uh... Clockwork Orange. The oh. big penis thing. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And I know it's not that, but just that style of like... Right. There's a big weird white art. Maybe object. because it's round and... 
I think it would. I think it would also depend on like what kind of thing you would put it on, like what kind of base you would put it on. I'd put it in a serving dish and I would eat it. Oh, he's like, oh that, no. That's kind of funny. What See, at least the articulation kind of changes it, at least in this regard. Right. It's like but it's like with that one, it just seems so. The packaging on this is like like the bottom's it's like futuristic. even like foam, like <laughs> oh, dense dude, foam and like. I really like this thing. That this, weird head see, baby. This yeah. is the one I like. I really like I, this I'm one. I'm partial to this one as well. Yeah? Yeah. Because in my head, I see like different things. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's a bunny. No, it's like a robot thing. No, it's a... See, and I like the other one. And it's got this lovely box. Kors yeah. always has nice boxes. Do they? I was going to say, that, that is that packaging is really something else. That other one, we have a giant pain edition mm -hmm. guy. He came with like a pillow. Like the box is huge, and there was like a pillow packed in there. And it was that thing. I think was he was insane. actually real. And they he were just kind of keeping that. You know, we gotta make sure <laughs> we send in our operative, comfortable, give him a pillow. Here we go. Your oop container houses two cells at the height of infancy, oocyte phase, approximately seven inches. Each specimen is lab reared by coarse life in imagination duct ducts deep underground. Monitor the evolution of the two closely while they shift to noop, noxious organic phase. Due to accelerated lifespan, embryos undergo erratic muscle gain and frenzied energy spurts. Carefully raise these clone cuttings, and they will ensure a happy harvest. So these are the well, you babies. Drop some science I know, right? Us. Do they have like design meetings on acid? Because that's really what it sounded like. Wow. Contains two vinyl figures, Oop and Aw, loser signature brood. Produced and manufactured by Course. Um, CourseLife.com. I wonder which one's which. Which one's oop and all? Oop and all. I don't know. Crazy. I think the one I like is aw, and the one you like is oop. That's the way you're going with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, right. I would have to agree with that one. Did, does it That's say aw on the other side, or does it say oop? Oh, it says oop on both sides though. Uh, which is yeah. Weird. Well, that's the oop this stage. Oocyte phase is oop. It's gonna just, all open just as there's yeah. two barely stickers yeah, holding it on. There you yeah, two little labels. Don't do that, guys at home. Don't hold Once it. you yeah. unstick it, it doesn't do that again. Yeah. It's still a rad box. Oh. That's you gotta all. put them all it's, back in the right way and yeah, it's all he's over. like perfectly like cradled in there. Like I gotta see what that card does at coursetoys.com. Okay. Yes. Well, we'll have to report back on that. Look sometime. at that fun surprise! Yay! Yes. Do you need this again? Or? Oh, so thank you to those one. guys because they. Uh, Yes, thank you, Course Toys. Gave us that to review, so thank you very much. Very cool. He's very amazing. bizarre, but very fun, cool. weird, bizarre piece. I yeah. will put the baby head next to the pain figure that we have. Aww. See, that fun. makes sense. Fun. Let's put the move. Rabbit on. Was cool. What do we got here? Thing. This is a Raymond Mini Key. Would you like to open that for us? Uh, yeah, sure. So this is from Toy 2R. It is a Raymond Choi version of the five inch mini keys. That's the, the newest addition to the key family. This was an exclusive, so I don't think you can get it straight from toy2rusa.com, but you can check around online. I'm sure that there's a few places that will have it. <laughs> so have you, I know you do dunnies. Do you do keys at all? Um, in a very, very limited fashion. I mean, it's gotta be something that really blows me away. Okay. Like, uh, I'm not sure who the artist is, I think you have it here somewhere. Uh, it's the guy who does this. Yes. And I don't know exactly who, what his name or her name is. It's escaping me right now. Who does which one? The, just the regular? It's, yeah. I, I think that one was just a generic. Is it? Oh, okay. Toy 2R one, yeah. The Christmas one? Uh, yeah, well, just that skull lo that skull face and everything like that. Like I. Oh, I yeah, that's the toy -er. Okay, oh, okay. Then that's what I... That's like the only thing I've really done. Oh, hey, oh okay. sitting right here. Yeah. Ta-da! Um, I like those though, but otherwise the the keys are not really my thing. I don't know what it is about the dunnies. They just speak to you. They have a certain charisma. Have you ever seen a picture of Raymond? No. Okay, so Raymond okay. is the inventor of key. Ah. He is the the head honcho, if you will. Sweet. And uh, that is a they they have a little two and a half inch version of him. I yes. think they did an eight inch. I don't know about Maybe. the eight I can't inch. remember. I know the, the little one. That is but fun. this is freaking amazingly cute. That is kind of, that's, that's Raymond. pretty awesome. Raymond Choi. This is the man responsible. And I know you thought he'd be taller. Well, our, our friend Laura said, does anyone even know what he looks like? 
And that's why that's why I asked you because do you even know what he looks like? But I mean, if you go on Facebook, you could see pictures of Raymond, and you could see that this does look like him. Yeah, it really does look like him. And why wouldn't you make your own you in your own toy line? Seriously. Okay, so quality wise, I love his little glasses. He looks good except his pants. Is there something wrong with them? Something with the pants? Oh, they're textured they're just, or something. Oh, it's like somebody bizarre. tried to like sponge paint it. Oh, almost. weird! It's like there's. But look yeah. at the weird, and it's fine because it's probably supposed to be blue jeans. Right, but still, it it looks like, look over here. Incons- inconsistent. Can yeah, I check it out? Of, yeah. uh, there's a lot of flaws. That's weird. In the legs. Are they supposed to be that way? Right. Ah. Like it looks textured, like it's supposed to be jeans. Ah. That's strange. No. Nobody knows. <laughs> But these are pretty cool. I actually like the five inch key line. I just wish they weren't called mini keys because those are, are mini keys. Does actually, those count as micro keys now? Yeah, apparently. I uh, don't, okay. I'm not sure what those well, are. Well, no, Nano because then keys. there's even smaller ones there than those. There is a smaller one. Oh, really? Uh, up there on the like 18th shelf. <laughs> there's a, a little black and white. <laughs> just a little black and white dog. Okay. See, oh, they're actually, smaller. Oh. Those are like mini oh. keys. You have to build like a little car for him to drive around. Like, <laughs> oh, like, looks like he's or like a shopping wheel. cart, you know. Let's have Raymond drive yeah. stuff around. <laughs> Raymond going grocery shopping. Amazing. <laughs> Do they have vehicles right. for like dunnies and stuff like that? Monies? I know they have accessories. I think I they made a money vehicle at one they point. They made a didn't car, they? didn't they? Like a little yeah. cloud Did car okay. looking thing. Right on. But there should yeah. be more. There There's... should be like bank heist vehicles. Right. Bank. Well, there's not much more <laughs> to say about car. that thing. Should we keep going on this? I'm just kind of curious about about like, okay, well, why why the it has a weird cut why it has a weird cut why it has a weird cut we're talking about this thing the the clamshell that came in mm. because there's also a bunny version that's where the ears come in oh. and a bear version oh and so it's it's a one mold to make this and then and they can then put they can all just put the any different one in there which is great because those are expensive. That. that's very clever actually so you can see it comes with all the different yeah I think that's a very clever so he just idea. has the ears so he fits in with the ear spots there yeah. on the side oh. perfect. They just make a Raymond with little bunny thing, ear accessories. So. Mm-hmm. Ah! That's totally How cute would yeah. that be? Shall we move on to blind box? Sure. Let's blind box it. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Okay, so it's been a while since you've been here. Yes. We're going to do some Lego minifigure Rock. collectibles. I don't know. Have you been into these at all? How, no, how no. How Lego I, I, are you? Um... It's okay if you're not. I'm more of a tourist. I'm a Lego tourist without going to Lego Land. You've never been to Lego? I have not been to Lego Land yet. Perhaps one of these days we should remedy that. I'm more than down with that. Excellent. Oh, stop. Especially mm-hmm. since they have the whole new Star Wars thing now, too. So yes. I'm very, very it's, much more. I'll be into. honest, a little smaller than you're going to want. But... You know what? But I'm, I'm more impressed with just the fact that people have the patience to do it. Like, you guys have the patience. I just. As soon as two things don't fit, I'm done. You're like, I'm out. Yo, I'm out. Go get a burrito. Yeah, right? Seriously. <laughs> okay, so, there. go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank um, you. They're actually on the fifth series of these just came out, oh. but we're opening some old ones. These ah, are series two. two, because there were some that we need from series two, so we have these to open. Sweet. So, okay. what does everybody want? And I know you... Oh, oh, right, we have to look at this. They're not all on the front, but... Well, here, I, I like the little those. Mexican guy. Oh, there we go. I was able to pull mine out somehow. So we can figure out which one we all want. Cheater, oh. cheater. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's all it. of them. Hmm. The mime is actually pretty funny. As is the Dracula. Hmm, which? I like little Mexican guy. Yeah, the Mexican. <laughs> I'm going for Mexican guy. Surfer. Okay. I want the Britney Spears girl. The Britney Spears. Oh, oh I see you already looked at your package, didn't you? <laughs> I can I tell by the oh, tone look, of voice. Oh, look, I got the Britney Spears package. girl. <laughs> He's o- George is always looking at his package <laughs> on camera. Ahead of time. Oh! Yep. Okay, how about this for Let's weird switch. kind of irony? Dude, I totally got Surfer, dude. Nice! How funny Should've is switched. that? Let's totally fucking Okay, but I lost totally something. Oh, I think fell down. It's, it's probably just it. his head. He, he's got head, feet, and body. We're square here. <laughs> and, so. hat, and, and sombrero. Oh, that's cool. They have little outfits, too. Oh, this one smells great. So, yeah, the thing about these figures, as mm-hmm. compa- compared to a lot of the regular um, inset minifigures, mm-hmm. is these tend to have a lot more detail, especially on the face. Actually, a lot of the faces in sets have more detail now versus... Well, and they have the printed, the printed pants, which a lot of There's them don't. There's a lot of printed pants. Oh. 
I guess when you start getting into a lot of the um, licensing and all that sort of fun stuff. That's, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a hint. That's not how that goes. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh this? Oh, yeah. believe me. I'm do trying, it to, yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to do it like old this. school Star Wars style. Sorry. Those go in the neck hole. Oh, you know what? That makes total sense. Sorry, folks. Lego noob. <laughs> you it's were okay. putting it on like a Jawa it's cape. Yeah, that's, <laughs> how, that's, that's how I'm used to putting stuff like that on. You twist them like that? Is there supposed to be two? Yeah, there's a front and back. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. <laughs> so bad at Lego. I told you I'm a tourist. That's okay. You're learning. I'm sitting there with like a Lego map. <laughs> Where do I go from here? You're learning. Look at the boobs on this one. Oh, hello. She's even showing a little belly. Yeah, a little midriff there. Got some makeup on. I like yeah. it. She's a little slutty kind looking of, in the face. Kind of fergie yeah, Kind of a little face. fergie thing going on I there. I am a Mexican. Awesome. Awesome. So, Yo soy Mexican. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, so now I can finally do my uh, point break oh. in Lego. There you go. Bodhi right there. <laughs> oh, this is pretty sweet. I like I like sombrero guy. The sombrero is awesome. The sombrero makes this and thing. And he has maracas. He does have maracas, which is awesome. So I'm a, as you all know already, I'm a huge fan of these minifig collectibles and some of the newer lines. I mean, there's, wow, there's so many good figures that have just come out and are coming out. And luckily series one and two were pretty hard to find at major retailers and even at Lego stores, they would Mm -hmm. get a case and sell out really fast and that was it. But series three and four were pretty, you know, well produced. I think series five will also be pretty easy to find so you know if you want yours go to your local lego store if you have one mm. or four like we do or five um or go oh, to your toys r us that we have five most people have to drive like no, hours right. Seriously. five uh the costa mesa one just opened we're so blessed mission oh. viejo is about to open too so all within how far though how many is five within how long of a distance well, costa mesa if we count costa mesa that's within about an hour hour and a half yeah hour and then lego hour. the lego at lego land is what two hours an hour and right. a half. yeah the yeah, lego land is two two and a half hours okay so see it's far it's... that's not that far i mean there's what glendale and anaheim still like disneyland and ontario and ontario yeah i mean there's yeah we are so blessed. within, an hour, Truly within we are two blessed. hours there's five lego stores yeah that's pretty crazy i'm spoiled and Glendale's the biggest one. Yeah, that one's great. Um, anyway, so these are cool. What I'm, do you think, Ro? I'm totally down with these. I love the accessories. I always think that these accessories are really cool. Look at these guys. Look yeah. at his, like... He's straight up buff. Ripped. Like, I like this guy. Oh, yeah, I, it'd be, the only thing that could possibly make this better is if they actually put, like, two little pieces of rice or something so that he actually made a little maraca sound. <laughs> that would that have would been be the good. only thing that would have made this thing better. Otherwise, I think Pepe is rad. Pepe! He's got a name. Oh, yeah. Here's some of the other uh, accessories from this particular series. Ah, and the instructions the on tiny. how to put this thing back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but even though you're sorry. looking at it, like it, you still got to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I guess so. Let me ask you a question on ask a Lego-related uh, tip. Um, yes. What do you, what's the name of these, uh, the new ones? Cree? Creo. Creo. What do you think of those? Those are not Lego. They're not Lego. They're those not Lego. Not They're Lego. kind of uh, Those are Hasbro's the Hasbro Lego. version of, Lego, right. of a building block. Um, I think they look, okay, so I had a chance to play with them at BotCon a little mm-hmm. bit. They seem pretty cheap, like the, the plat, the ABS that they're made out of seems really, um, brittle. Okay. Like I have, a f- somehow, I don't know, maybe it's because I play with Lego more, but when you, <laughs> equal opportunity. There we go. You have a female. Keep Ooh, going, I didn't mean to. Ooh, um. And then we got Freddie Mercury. The, and- <laughs> The ABS on awesome. Lego is very like solid and they have good quality control. Lego, that's one of the things Lego is known for is their quality control. Right. So like when you get a silver brick, it's going to be a silver brick. It's going to, well, other than the purple fiasco over the years, most of their bricks match. Okay. That's not even 100% true, but depending on when they were made. The Creo, like when I was picking them up out of the bin, mm-hmm. would be like swirled and like weird and like the stuff wasn't mixed quite right. All right. And then like I picked up the... Uh, some of the clear stuff and like you could tell it was already starting to get yellow and it was brand new so that made me a little sad the joint system is pretty cool they feel like they have really tight ball joints oh, that's cool. for the big okay you know versions of the guy i the um we got the optimus prime the minifig version mm-hmm. of the optimus prime hadn't played with it hadn't done anything just took it straight out of the box and it already had stress marks uh. around the joints where the plastic had 
gone in, so I'm a little worried that, again, cheap plastic, basically. But could it just be, like, a fairly decent first shot at the whole thing? See, I'm a, I'm a Lego snob. Uh, is that what you're asking okay. the wrong person. Yeah, I'm see, a well, that's, well, that's kind of why I wanted to ask mm. you, because it's you are such a Lego person that it's kind of like, okay, if somebody else is doing their kind of version of Lego, if you will, you know, how does it, how does it measure up? Well, there's, it's also weird because they stole a lot of parts specific, like you can pick up very specific parts and you're like, this is a Lego designed part and you ripped it off. Here's my feeling as a Transformers fan and as a Lego fan. Okay. I don't want to build my Transformers out of Lego. Like I want my Transformers to be their own little like transforming thing and gotcha. you can't transform them oh no i can imagine that thing would pretty much crumble in your hand well, you can't right? you have to it doesn't you have to build a robot or you build, build a, car. a robot or you build the car like it does not once you build it transform oh. into anything oh yeah. so oh so it's yeah it's, so it's a just weird just concept other, it's kind of, i don't know to me it's a little bit of a weird concept like i, I want it, my transformer to transform right i guess it kind of becomes like a hey well kind of like what's on like a lot of the lego sets where like for instance, the Star Wars stuff where it shows mm-hmm. like, oh, you can make the speeder bikes or you can make this crazier, weird looking yeah. thing, you know, like, so it kind of gives people a way to make something else with using those same pieces. What do you think of it? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I really haven't had that much interaction with it other than just seeing or it. Or the idea. What do you think of the idea? I think the idea is cool. Um, but same thing. It's like, I think that they're not, I feel like they're in such almost like pre stages. Like they, they haven't hit their stride. Mm-hmm. you know, at all. And it's very, I don't know, it's like demo cassette kind of mm-hmm. thing right now. You know, they're just trying to see how it is and everything like that. And hopefully it will build and evolve and all these kinds of things and turn into something really awesome. Or It could. I mean, or out. it could be those 12 sets or whatever they came out right. with. Um, the one thing that I think they really failed on with the launch is that they were not selling the minifigs separately. Right. Well, and Lego didn't do that at first. They didn't. Mm-hmm. But Lego has been around a lot longer and has developed... Lego made the market for minifigures. Right, but they uh, Lego also doesn't... Like, that's a Transformer line. If Lego put out a Transformer line, they wouldn't sell those Transformers separately. Probably not. Mm. Lego doesn't. Lego doesn't sell the Star Wars figures separately. They sell magnets. Right, I guess they right. don't. Huh? But they, they don't, don't. you can't go buy right. a Stormtrooper. So why would? Why should Hasbro put out... They can't on Bricklink. Why, yeah, but, right, why but would, that's, that's not Lego. Right, that's not a... Sanction. Like, you can go to eBay and buy right. a Transformer right. separate... I'm just saying maybe it was a missed opportunity now that there is this whole minifigure collector market. I think I think it'll be hard to tell until the next wave. Cre- yeah, the next wave kind of comes out because hopefully, I mean, Hasbro's not so bad at the whole engineering thing too, so it's like, I mean, I'm sure they'll you know, look at the way that they made it and hopefully hopefully expand on it. That would be cool. Yeah. Just saying though. It's so hard cuz these are so iconic from years and right. years and years like the minifigure you know, it has looked like the same shape right, since, like the last, like, you know, like forever years, since we were kids. You know, little besides little changes here and there, but like, so you know, you get Hasbro's version and it's like, ugh, it doesn't look cool because right. it's off. like, yeah, it's like, well, it's not the one that we grew up with, so of course it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look right, but, but for the kids, has, it kind of works. Yeah, then. the kids who are growing up on it now in twenty years, they're going to be like, look at those weird Lego. Right, they don't look right. They look like daddies. <laughs> Vintage Lego. Vintage Lego. All right, that's enough cool. box. All right, we have another review left. Guess mm. what? Oh, it's this. From our favorite company. Patch together. This is Yenny. Patch together statuette. Statuette. Uh, make it up. Poor Dave Alvarez. Does so it say poor or four? It says poor, okay. and that means for buy. So this is a resin statue currently out of stock. YennyLopez.com and PatchTogether.com. In a famous white box, but this one does have a label, folks. You know what's really kind of funny? I'm actually one of my clients right now. I don't know if I can say this on. Well, who cares? Uh, his name is Rennie Lopez, which I think is really kind of funny. <laughs> I'm like, that's thought, pretty awesome. That's what I thought you just said just now. You're like, oh, they made a toy. Yeah, I'm like, uh, wow, the guy has unfound depth. Well, wait, do you not have to put anything together? It doesn't look like it's a statue. There's no it's glue. It's wow. a statue. This is crazy. It's actually pretty sexy. Weird. Well, maybe not weird, just interesting. Want to check it out? Yeah, sure. It, I feel dirty. It looks better in person, I think, than it does in the pictures. So I didn't get a chance to it's read up. right there. Read up completely on it. Right. It's something about she wants to be a supermodel, but there's some something going on with that. You can check it all out at yennylopez.com. That's where the comic is. And uh, go to patchtogether.com. Like he said, it is sold out, but you can hit the uh, please restock button, and hopefully enough people 
hit the button, you know, they can, they can make more, but it actually pff, captures the art on here pretty well. Oh, okay, that is supposed mm -hmm. to be there. I was like, is that spot supposed to? Oh, okay, there we go. It's from the famous online comic strip. Her feet almost look like bunny feet, like the ones yeah, sticking up. Yeah, they look like rabbits, right? It Rabbit looks like feet. it's got a foot pad. And she's kind of got like that very white bottom part, so it almost looks a little bit is more Is it supposed like, to look like she has a spray tan? If it's not, I don't know, because <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> she's like orange. Is this sexy? Is this a sexy statue? Uh, if you're into Oompa Loompas. Yeah, I guess so, um, right? Who it's like Oompa Loompa porn. Like, that's what they dream of. <laughs> that's America butt right there, that's though. That's right. America. 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 I don't know. Yes, um, that's kind of cool. Okay. I love that we didn't have to put anything together. Because usually the patch together stuff has Is. glue, and then you have to put some pieces together, like a tail or a. Gotcha. So that's the name of the company. Patch together. Just it is a good representation of the art, though. The hair came out great. The hair looks pretty good. I cool. think the hair looks even better in the 3D than it does in the 2D. That's um, funny. It's very angular, and it right. really works with the, you know, and they have the space in between, and that's great. It sits well over the shoulder. Nice. It's an interesting piece. It's a nice sex room piece. A nice bootay. Yeah. Sex room? <laughs> if so you have, if a, you sex have a sex room in your house... So, we're shooting to a break at your house next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll have to Brought move to the swing. From, Brought to you from Rose Sex. Right? Yes. <laughs> Weird. All right, well. Not much to say. It's also got the uh, a fun base, just with a like a the flower. flower. Yeah, it's kind of Hawaiian-ish. A Hawaiian yes. flower. Yeah. Like, uh, what flower is hyacinth? that? Dude has information. Full of knowledge. That's right. Full metal knowledge. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. There's that thing. There's, yeah, that is America. That is America. I, I don't have anything else. Wow. Can't buy them, so tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and eBay it. if you're interested. Yes. And I'm sure they're secondary. And if you have a sex room, chances are you can afford one off of eBay. Oh, there you go. Just saying. <laughs> Shall we talk about some events? Sure. Ooh, events. Happenings. Let's do it. Stuff events. Stuff to do. We have New York Comic Con at the Javits Center in New York City, New York. I've heard about from that. From October 13th to the 16th. You can check out NewYorkComicCon.com. Are you going? I, I am going. I'm actually sponsoring it. Are you? Yeah. So Sponsor. I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah. Under War Machine? Yeah. Awesome. Because we help out the exhibitors and the vendors and stuff like that make their giveaways. That Goodies. Give out to everybody. Yeah. That's nice. awesome. So yeah, so we're gonna be a part of that. So you'll I'm be very there. Excited. You can say hi to George. He'll be there. I was there. just gonna ask you if you guys are gonna be there. I will be there. Just chopping around, or are you? Uh, yeah, no, just walking around. Oh, just hanging out. Excellent. Yeah. I will not be there. It's gonna be a blast. Last year it was pandemonium and chaos and awesomeness all in a nice burrito of rad. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds delicious. Wow, that's yeah. a, that's a, that's something right yeah. there. <laughs> but it was overwhelming, just like that. <laughs> Well, I will not be there because I am getting ready for DesignerCon. Yes, also. This annual uh, art and design convention smashes together collectible toys and designer apparel with urban underground and pop art in Pasad at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California on November 5th, designercon.com. That one I will be at. I'll have a little headphone thingy in. I'll be looking very official. I'll be like, wait a minute. I gotta talk to somebody. Yeah, she uses terms like 10-4 and copy. I do. Awesome. <laughs> Except it's just a normal conversation. I'm not actually yeah. talking. I'm talking to myself. And there's no one else with a headset. And then no one. So it's, just, <laughs> it's just weird. But it's fine. Shh, that's our <laughs> secret. Just likes to do it. it. But these two will also be at DesignerCon. Yes. So, well, all three of us will be at DesignerCon. Yes. And that will be exciting. And so if you would like to come say hi to us, we encourage that. Yes. DesignerCon's a lot of fun, too. And it's getting bigger. And it's Thank you. getting more popular. And it's... I just, uh, like, be, over the years especially, it's like, it's just really cool to see the same people who show up and all the new people who show up because they were just like, I gotta find out what's going on. And it's just, it's, I like seeing so that. So tell like, your friends. Yes. And come on out because it's a lot of fun. It's going to be super awesome this year. Yes. As always, every year we get a little bit better and a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I'm really That's excited. Time. Really excited. Yeah. Oh, and in case you're wondering, if you get to the Pasadena Convention Center and you're like, where is it? It's not in its usual place. Well, they put an ice skating rink where we used to be. So we are in the awesome, beautiful exhibit hall. Is Moving that where BotCon was? Was yeah. in that one? Oh, mm -hmm. that is a nice hall. We'll be over there, so. Yes. Come find us in the nice, new, pretty section. Very nice. Nice bathrooms, too. 
It's <laughs> good to know. It's good. Good information to have. <laughs> yes. All right, so that's it for episode 186. Do you guys have anything to add? Um, no, I can't think of anything. I had a lot of fun, though, unwrapping all this stuff. <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> we love having you on. Please Thank come you. back more. I will. I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> you might find me on your couch later. <laughs> Just randomly. Just randomly. <laughs> Don't forget, you can save money with the coupon code TOYBREAK10 for 10% off at Tilty.com and ButtonLab.com. And TOYBREAK, all one word, for 15% off at FunCrush.com and 20% off at October Toys. As usual, you can go to TOYBREAK.com. It is the hub of everything Toy Break. It has the videos. It has show notes from the videos with easy links to click to, like, Ooh. War Machine Marketing. Uh, toys that we talk about, all that kind of good stuff. Our sponsors, you can check them out. You can go to the forum and you can uh, jump in on the Mummy Boy contest we've got going on right now, or you could just jump in on any of the fun toy conversations we're having. Of course, if you're enjoying the show, we appreciate any donations. Feel free. Uh, there's a, a little link on the left-hand side of the toybreak.com and it keeps the lights on, keeps guests coming over, keeps the microphones Why working. Why not sign yes, up I'm monthly. paid a lot from the sponsors, aren't I? <laughs> You can also call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. Check out our toy briefs and full episodes on YouTube at youtube.com slash toybreak. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. Are you on Twitter? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's okay. I haven't really War done Machine it. Marketing? Is yeah, it'll probably just be at War Machine Marketing. I just haven't done anything with it. Okay. And I need to, so... People can find you where online? Yes. Just uh, war w yeah, warmachinemarketing.com or facebook.com slash warmachinemarketing. Perfect. Yeah. So still got the social media going. Yeah. With the, the oh, yeah. I'm still there socially. All you right, need we'll postcards for your art show, posters, Lighters. Anything. Lighters? I just made anything. lighters. Business cards. All, promo stuff. all that kind of stuff. Yep. Bags. Booty bags. You want your name on a comb? Yeah, I can do that. I want my can name you do on that? a comb. I can do that. <laughs> I don't know why I want that, but yes. now that you say it, I want it. Oh. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Toy break combs. That's right. Limited edition. <laughs> of two. Of just two, us. Just Nobody else wants that. Just us. All right. So do you remember how we like to end the show? Oh, and that's your toy break. Or here's your toy and break. And here's your toy break. Ah, right on. That's and a here's your toy break. Uh.